Hi everyone, Blaise Pascal was a French mathematician, physicist and philosopher. Despite being chronically ill throughout most of his short life, he pioneered probability theory and other areas of maths. He built one of the earliest mechanical calculators and made important contributions to hydrostatics and hydrodynamics and many other areas of science and maths. Blaise Pascal, let's find out more about him. Blaise Pascal was born in Clermont-Ferrand in the Auvergne region of France in 1623. His mother died when he was only three and his father, a judge who was also interested in science and mathematics, eventually moved the family including Blaise and his two sisters to Paris, where he educated the children himself. Like his sisters, Blaise showed extraordinary ability even as a child. When he was 16, he wrote an essay on conic sections in which he proved that if a hexagon is inscribed in a circle or other conic section, then the three intersection points of opposite sides are collinear. In other words, they lie on the same line. It's an important result in projective geometry and became known as Pascal's theorem. The line on which the three intersection points lie is called the Pascal line of the hexagon. A special case is when the conic degenerates into two lines. The theorem still holds, but is then usually called Pappus's theorem. Three years later, still not quite 19, Pascal invented a mechanical calculator, becoming the second person to do so, to help with his father's tax calculations. The Pascaline, as it became known, consisted of a box containing six sets of pinwheels and cylinders. Each cylinder bore the digits 0 to 9 around its edge, and was so arranged that only one figure equivalent to one-tenth of the circumference could be seen through the sight hole at any given time. The pinwheels were connected to the six horizontal dials at the front, so that when the dial was turned, the corresponding pinwheel and cylinder turned with it. Suppose you want to add together the numbers 2, 5 and 3. With a stylus or peg, you turn the right-hand dial anticlockwise from where the figure 2 is marked round to 0. This action turns the pinwheel and hence the cylinder two-tenths of a revolution from 0 to 2. You then repeat the process, this time dialing five. The pinwheel turns the cylinder a further five-tenths of a revolution, so that the total registered there is seven. Finally, you dial the number three. The pinwheel moves through three-tenths of a turn, as does the cylinder. Because the cylinder is marked in tenths, however, and ten units have been added, two plus five plus three, this brings it round to zero again. A trip mechanism within the calculator carries the digit 1 to the cylinder immediately to the left. The six cylinders represent from left to right single figures, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and hundreds of thousands. The adding of the single figures 2, 5 and 3 gives 0 in the single figure cylinder and 1 on the 10 cylinder, thus producing the answer total 10. With the six cylinders, sums can be added up to a total of 999,999. Pascal made several dozen of his machines, of which a few survive in museums. Pascal's name is also associated with a famous triangle of numbers, Pascal's triangle, which he didn't discover, although he did important work on it. Starting with the number 1, each number in each subsequent row of the triangle is the sum of the two numbers directly above it. Most famously, Pascal's triangle determines the coefficients that arise in binomial expansions. This fact was known to the Indian mathematician Pingala as long ago as the second century BC. Pascal was the first to write an entire treatise on the triangle, published in 1655 which collected various known results about it and used these to solve problems in probability theory. The previous year, 1654, Pascal and Pierre de Fermat had exchanged correspondence on the subject of probability. In particular, 
they discussed the dice problem, already studied by Girolamo Cardano, and also the problem of points, considered by Cardano and two other Italians, Luca Pacioli and Niccolo Tartaglia. The dice problem asks how many times one can expect to throw a pair of die before getting a double six. The problem of points asks how to divide the stakes if a game of die is incomplete. Pascal and Fermat solved the problem of points for a two-player game, but didn't develop powerful enough methods to solve it for three or more players. Pascal produced important results about a curve known as the cycloid, which led to developments in calculus. His experiments, performed by his brother-in-law, observing the heights of a column of a barometer at different altitudes on the mountain Puy de Dom, 1646 confirmed that atmospheric air has weight. He also pioneered hydrodynamics and hydrostatics and in doing so discovered what became known as Pascal's law. This states that the pressure in an enclosed body of fluid arising from forces applied to its boundaries is transmitted equally in all directions with unchanged intensity. This pressure acts at right angles to the surface of the fluid container. Pascal also wrote extensively on theology and philosophy and produced some outstanding works of literature. Having suffered poor health for most of his adult life, he died in 1662 at the age of 39. Thanks for watching. Please check out some of our other videos, including those on other famous mathematicians. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.